good to see you. You look fantastic. And I hope you know how thrilled I am that you are one of us now. Really? I, yeah, I really am. Did you am. not like that I wasn't before? It, it, there was a wedge between us, I felt no, like, no, yes, yes. Yeah, but bad. I feel like, I do, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you've accepted us. Because I think in as a way, yeah. Americans, we, uh, you know this, now you're an American, we always get the sense that um, when people come here from England, they um, kind of look down their noses at us. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah very much, <laughs> very much. Because we're better than them. And now... But now I'm only half better. You have to... Yeah. Look, literally look down your nose at yourself. Yeah, Which is exactly. a strange thing to it's do. It's so strange and slightly disarming, yeah. I'm not sure I'm entirely thrilled about it. Are you? Yeah, you're... Well, people asked me about the whole day. They were like, oh, it must have been so emotional. And I was like, it wasn't. It was sad. <laughs> I like being British. It was the most bizarre day. Matthew McConaughey's <laughs> wife was getting sworn in with me. Camilla, oh, wow. who was so All nice. Right. McConaughey shows up looking like he's going on safari. I was like, <laughs> you could have worn a shirt and tie. Like, Camilla looks amazing. But, so um, he was there. Your husband, John Krasinski? John was there. Was there with you? John said, I said, John, did you enjoy the whole ceremony? And he said, I did. I was doing the best I could not to stand next to McConaughey in that courtroom and go, I'll rise, I'll rise, I'll rise. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, all he was thinking about the I whole time. Getting sworn in with Matthew McConaughey looking on makes you, like, a double American. Double American. And Literally. actually, as I was getting sworn in, I was like this, and I could see him in my peripheral going... Like, as he's hearing the things I had to do. Things like renouncing my queen. Oh, you had to renounce your queen, yeah. Which is horrible. Yeah, I guess so. Queen Elizabeth was just like... <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> well, you just have to say that you renounce any other, like... <laughs> they specifically mentioned her? Yeah, like any other sovereign. And it wasn't specifically oh. Queenie. Okay. But she knows. <laughs> she knows. But the thing that's weird is that you actually... I do get to keep both my British citizenship and this, but you have to renounce her, so... But it's kind of typically American, not to be rude. <laughs> but I had to renounce her in the room, but I don't actually technically renounce her, but it was like, they were like, just say it, you don't have to mean it, but just... <laughs> it was so perfect, you know? <laughs> like, That's how we do things around yeah, here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You'll understand. You'll be, you'll be doing that stuff soon yourself. I'm getting there. Yeah. Now, there's a test, right? They make you take a driving test. Isn't it is true? the hardest test I've ever had to take. I guarantee most Americans would have no idea um, how to answer any of these questions. Well, Guillermo passed it, so how hard Which could this Which is insane! Yeah. Like, Guillermo, I can't... How did you do in the test? I, I study, and it was real easy for me. Really was, easy? Yeah. <laughs> he's not, he's no go. dummy, Guillermo, over there. He's did bilingual. You, Guillermo, did they do the whole thing with you where, um, before the test on American history and the Constitution, they do like a background check test where they ask me things like, are you a habitual drunkard? <laughs> and I said, well, I was last night. <laughs> and my lawyer was in the room, and he was like... <laughs> no nonsense, yeah. right? Have I ever been a prostitute, was another question. They asked you that? Yeah. And, and? I said, well, I was. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, no, it was really These are very weird. strange questions. Who would answer that honestly? I guess they don't care. Well, it's interesting that people thought... That I think the people asking those questions, the officials think, well, this will be the time that someone would come clean when they're trying <laughs> to get citizenship. They would no, definitely. You come think clean. after like 70 years of this and yeah. realizing no one has ever said yes to any of those things. <laughs> any of it. Those things don't matter as far as being American. I have some questions for oh, you, God. and this will determine if you are indeed an American citizen. I are will you be ready? Deported. What are the giant refillable sodas at 7 Eleven called? <laughs> It's not like a Slurpee, right? No, but you're close enough. A big slushy. gulp. Big gulp. But big gulp. Slurpee was good. Big gulp. What is... Yeah, big gulp. What does MLB stand for? <laughs> oh, God. I thought you said M-I-B, and I was going to say men in black. No. So embarrassing. No. I don't MLB, know. MLB, Major League Baseball. Oh, for Our national sake. pastime. Who uh, is that? What does DQ stand for? <laughs> Someone's motioning something sexual to me over there. <laughs> <laughs> he was like this. D <laughs> It's, it's Dairy Queen. It's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs>
I am Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if not, do nothing at all.